Um, yeah. Wisely so. Definitely does make sense. Also, I think that Ken does have a little bit less of that real explosion when it comes to the combos. Mm -hmm. Obviously, combos are still very consistent, and he still can link them into big kills. But maybe a little bit less sort of clench-worthy than uh, Ryu. Yeah, and here we go. We have actually... Um just so you just guys know, Gaius, uh, Gaius was, of course, uh, taken down by John Numbers in Winners, and here he is now in Losers, fighting for his place to continue throughout Defend the North's Losers Division. So, here we go. Now, right, the Ken doing some some work on PS2, a very favored uh, Robin stage just for its, its zonal quality, like we were always talking about earlier. Uh, but And Robin, of course, has the magic distance to, you know, catch up with with Ken and really make sure that distance is kind of in favor for her. So, here we go, Ken keeping that, uh, that really close distance and just traveling with Robin using focus to kind of shield away through most of uh, their power through most, uh, most yeah. of her attacks. He's so right now it looks like Gaius is just occupying this range that Rhythm needs to make him feel uncomfortable at that range. It's like just barely outside of like Levin's sword and it's enough for him to still Beautiful come through. Beautiful shuriken, yes! That's what I'm waiting for. That's what you're talking about. You gotta start taking stocks because Ken will take yours instantly with that Shoryuken combo. Yeah. I just, I'm honestly loving the spacing from Gaius right now, but this is also the strength that we mentioned with Robin. Oh, no! Oh, wh what was that? DI. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Artfire once again, kind of shifting out a little bit of Gaius's recovery, but finally come back on stage safely, and there is that combo going in with the <gasps> Robin on the ledge, and Robin has come in with the L win. Oh, but not allowing her to. So you can oh. once more, two of them! Can we go three for three? I mean, if, it, if this is Ken, it's probably what he's going to be converting into. It's such a good finisher. And one thing else that we're noticing, Robin's lack of out-of-shield options. Like, guys is going up, hitting that shield, and not really worried about anything, because, mm -hmm. the, like, pretty slow grab, what, neutral air out of shield? He's pretty comfortable just putting on pressure. Oh, oh wow! Could air dodge by accident. Couldn't yeah, couldn't escape that that art fire um once like like he did before. Throw the book at. Nosferatu not getting uh not getting Nosferatu that drop but that rhythm was looking for unfortunately and this is still not too much of a battle for for Gaius if he can continue this lead. This is actually reminding me of the Dill match yep. where that game one was so decisive and rhythm found his rhythm so to speak <laughs> uh and was able to from there actually <gasps> sort of build a strategy that was working. One thing that I think is much better right now, neutral airs throwing out those those Levin Sword hitboxes to prevent Ken from just running in and getting these massive conversions. You're absolutely no right. Invincibility. Ooh. No punish off of the, the high recovery of the Shuriken onto the stage. Now Robin once again gained the nice back throw and starting to pick up the pace once more. But Ken, we have Rage building up as we speak. Missing the down. Oh, oh the that's so cute! And healing up. Oh, oh, we have Nosferatu finally on deck, and we have some healing active as well, giving a little bit more uh, life for yeah. Rhythm. Hadouken's going in with the mid-range of the set, and the parry into Danto, into Shuriken. Is that a true combo? I don't think so, but that was beautiful to watch. Yeah, I mean, right there, leading up to that, Count how many aerials that Rhythm was throwing out. I was saying how, oh, it's really good that he's throwing out these aerials to shut down Ken's movement. And then there's the counterplay. Gaius just stood back, mm -hmm. figured out what the timing was, and then ran in and parried it. So, you know, Rhythm, it feels like he is building a strategy, but this needs to be a dynamic strategy. He needs to be ready to not just, if something's working, Beautiful. that does not mean it's going to work for forever. Also, the fact we always forget that the fighting game, you know, characters Ken, Ryu, Kazuya, Terry, they have the auto turnaround mechanic taken from their birth games. So the auto turnaround, even able to like, you know, catch rhythm uh, coming in ac across from yeah. Ken, yeah, was that's huge. Yeah, even though we got the parry, you saw that rhythm drifted to be behind. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. There's that auto turnaround you got always be really weary of uh, for those kind of finishing touches. Like, uh, like, like guys were able to show us in round two. Or round right. one, I'm sorry. And I also, I like this rhythm showing a different strategy here. Opting a lot for those sort of the thunders. The really quick move to shut down that movement. Yeah, look at this. Neutral airs and the th thunders. It's, he's clearly shown a preference that, and I feel like that preference is exactly what is going to be able to counter what was so effective from guys in that game one. Look at this. Oh, what a... Catching 11 sword. There it is. This is a humongous, humongous game changer for Rhythm, of oh. course. 
Without mm -hmm. Levin's sword, he couldn't actually get the kill right there. Oh. <laughs> I love Ken's little sound effects. And here we go, Ken not connecting anything off of the down of the, of the falling air. But here we go, down to down to No, spinning roundhouse kick. And there goes recovery options. There okay. we have Elwyn Tom, of course, a little bit to us for that extra little bit of vertical reco recovery. Oh, I just jumped into the air. I'm not sure he was. I guess he was sort of trying to be patient, but then the immediate hitbox from Gaius is what led to this stage positioning. Let's see if he can do with it. So oh! he'll kick into the arc fire. Such a smart move from Rhythm and converting it into the up of oh, the into the up air, of course. And now there is a stock lead that Rhythm is going to need. And now we can kind of back away from the situation because you don't want to be in the mid range position for in front of uh, Gaius. And of course, now Sprout's a little bit of healing as well. We need to be a little more mid range against uh, Ken. Ooh, he wanted to pick up the book, but that. Just hitting his noggin, got a little bit of extra damage, and now let's see how far Rhythm can extend this. We have yet to see him with a lead, and Robin is a character that can hype. What? <gasps> Yo, without the. Okay, that should be. That should be. Not it. He saved his jump. Brilliant stuff from Rhythm. He's now back on stage. Let's see what he can do with it. Oh, he's punished? Yes, with the up air, of course, and a little more damage on uh, on Gaius's return. Oh, Gaius's return. Gaius's percentage right now. And they, he just can't come back in safely the way that he was going to uh, in, in our game one. You know, Rhythm has literally found his rhythm and now is taking uh, taking guys wherever he wants. And also with punishing a lot of his attacks. But there is finally that down to down to into uh, river, uh, into spinning hook kick. And you know what? Now it's a little bit more even, a little more more manageable, manageable for Gaius. It's a little bit more manageable, but. Look at this, the way that he's playing. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you that if you have a Jephthah against a character who has only one, of course, being Hadouken, you have to use to your advantage because now once they're, in, well, once they're up close in your face, this is not where you want to be as Robin, but thankfully, Rhythm does not, does not care. Just the edge that we're looking for. And there's again. a Shuriken taking away Gaius' second stock unfairly. I, it's so... It's just consistently hitting him. And he's consistently not wow. able to get back. Avoiding the side B by a little bit and then double iron fired for like what 50% I think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A yucky amount. I know this is a really, really clear cut game for rhythm if this lead continues. Ooh. If guys are suddenly get this lead going and maybe <gasps> right here, no L went going well. Sure you cannot get anything off of it, but at the high recovery is very, very well well, well made. Alright, they're not getting anything. Alright. Loving how guys has actually slowed down the match a little bit just to kind of, you know, calm, get himself calm and collected. Because this could be his loser stock in this, in this set. Just goes and runs in, goes for that DP, but... Okay, now look at this. Pressure in his face. I think sort of changing up his own nice strategy. Set. What a good tech, though. That could have been the game, I think, but wasn't confident to be able to punish it. Instead, opting to take stage control. Yeah, and there's that, that back there. The Mecker was just waiting for to come out to come and, and mess everything. The guys was slowly starting to build up again. You know, was getting the 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 momentum going in favor for him slowly but surely. There is that arc fire we're talking about mm -hmm. where it was just gonna interrupt that killing blow. Sure, you can. And here we go. This is the I think the the second stock. Yeah, yeah, yeah for uh, yeah. rhythm. So what? Boom. Happens differently in that game as opposed to game one. Mm -hmm. So rhythm, I feel like found the moves he needs to be doing to shut down Ken's movement specifically for the ranges that he's going in. He was throwing out those tiny little thunders, thunder, thunder, yes. to whenever he was trying to just move in on the ground, then throw out, you know, those aerials if he was trying to approach from the air. He also had arc fire if he felt like he was going to hang back just a little bit too much. And he had sort of the, you know, it was the RPS. He built it up and then he just called right so often. You know, there's so little risk to throwing out a thunder that even if, you know, he does jump into the air, you're not necessarily going to get hit by it. So he was just time after time getting damage, getting damage, getting damage. And then the fact he was consistently taking stocks meant that, uh, oh, we're seeing a switch to Ryu. Interesting. So Ryu is like almost kind of a zoner. More so than Ken. Yeah, no, really I've, I've heard people describe Ryu as a donor, especially they buffed his uh his fireball a while ago. 
how big it is. It's not as big as how Duke can, but here we go. We're going over to Hollow Bash, and uh, I believe the first of our, our, our pick here um, over here to the North. Hollow Bash, of course, being basically FD of the platform. Uh, yeah. Blast on wire, stage wise, everything. We got the Smash Bros. platform on the top. Just gives us a little bit more uh, more surface area to run around in. Yeah, and I actually really like this counter pick from Ryu because he realized, okay, these little thunders, these me jumping into the air got hit. You know, it, was, it wasn't working out for me in that game. Let me play a character that doesn't have that same pressure to come in. Instead, let yeah. me just throw Hadoukens. Hadouken. Hadouken. Hadoukens, you know? Hadoukens. And oh, right, that roll! There it is, the, the, the side B not taking it, unfortunately. But here we go, we're going to be in that situation. Oh, I saw, I saw the vision. I definitely saw the vision. But here's that, 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 uh, that spike hitbox of the fair. And yeah. Another reason why I really like this, this counter pick, we've already seen, this is the third time now, Rhythm faces off against a new character, a new opponent, and he's slow to start out of the game. No, this is reminding me of game one against Dill, of game one against Gaius. He needs to take some time to figure out what he needs to be doing and switching characters up, basically reset Beautiful. his clock. But you know, he's, he's, uh, he's picking it up quicker than before because he managing to turn that around. We have a lead. It's gone, but still, considering how dominant oh the beginning gosh. of this game looked mm -hmm. like for Gaius, he's doing perfectly fine for himself. Yeah, you're, doing, you're, you're absolutely right. Now we're kind of in this part where both characters, both players have actually been able to um, play one another enough to know what each each person wants and how do they want to play against this kind of matchup, Robin of, uh, and Ryu, of course, this time. So, Ro uh, I'm sorry, Robin. Robin is, of course, going to be opting for more ledge charge situations against someone like uh, like Ryu. And Gaius is opting for that center to control, which we're seeing often that he's opting, always going towards the center of the stage. Pairing the first hit of the arc fire, but unfortunately getting hit by the rest of them and getting up there for it for his troubles. A little bit of focus and and, uh, and fireball stuffing out the L Thunder. And what else can we do here? Another forward throw in favor of Rhythm. A little bit of Ooh. a ledge guard situation. And this and is the other weakness. With up air. This is the other weakness from Ryu. The fact that he's much weaker when he's at the ledge. We're seeing these arc fires at the ledge be even more devastating. Oh, he's got the sword. Oh, he's got oh the sword. Oh my God! Foot to it to Levin sword. That's cute. That was. That was adorable. Uh, unfortunately, didn't get the kill, and that's mm. really what he's looking for. Because if he doesn't get the kill. Ryu does exactly that. Yeah, Ryu at, at high percentage absolutely can take it, but so can Rhythm. Uh, Robin taking it with the forward air, of course, always and forever that forward air. If not forward air, then who? Ethanic being out the fireball once more and not getting anything off of the punish with the cross up. Now it's just a skirmish, yeah. really, of, of projectiles, you know? He's using your projectile to get the open you're waiting for, just like that, down, down to, down to oh. into fireball. The sword in hand though? Sidekick. Oh. Nice. Right. Loving this lead that Gaius has earned for himself. Now if he can keep it, that'd be great. But there's a no Ferrazzo healing. It's a lot of damage that you don't need on yourself. <gasps> nice use of focus. I love that. Yeah, it's Robin, when juggling, Robin doesn't have a lot of multi-hits. Nope. <laughs> so it's something we haven't really seen because, I mean, it is very familiar. But there you have it. That was quick it. and easy. Like you were saying, Robin doesn't really have many multi hits. Uh, the only thing I really know of is the you know, the L thun uh, the L wind um, multi hit. Yeah, and that's like really arc it. fire, but that's not really that's what he, that's not fire. what he wants to be doing no. for juggling. Not for juggling. All right, so battlefield. Okay, the counter pick is battlefield. I can agree with this. So we're definitely going to be seeing sticking with uh, with Robin. I don't think Rhythm has enough, any other characters that he would be seriously considering swapping to, especially because that game was still very close. Um, and I think that I would actually give things sort of in Rhythm's favor just because I feel like there's very consistently we see the trajectory. The, he has a very, it is a steep slope from like quality of his play from game one into game two into game three. And now that he's had that first oh, game against beautiful. this Ryu, Oh, maybe I speak way too soon because 61% out of the gate. Let's see if there's a game plan and let's see if that game plan can work. Yeah, so I'm saying now, right now, Kai is, of course, taking the lead 2 1 game wise. And of course, 60% uh, and counting in favor for uh, for Gaius. <gasps> L win. Okay. Focus. No tech on, this, on the stage. Of, unfortunately, one more L win. Now we're being patient for waiting for the final kill, but Yo, there's that back the throw on left. Spacing on that. Just barely outspacing the back air. And that means that. Rhythm is still alive, 134%, but only 50 has been dealt on to Gaius. There's that, that one's part, so you get, you're dead for it. 
missing those frogs is so so awful for Rizzo just because that's 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 what you're running so much. And that's, like I feel well, like, like that's the second time Nosferatu has missed in the corner. Yes. It, he was expecting Gaius to shield, but Gaius is not shielding. I mean, granted, the counterplay for that is that now maybe throw you know falling forward airs or mm -hmm. up airs or something like that, but. You need to figure out this counterplay really quick because seventy-eight percent is all you've gotten on him, and this is still his first. There's that Nosferatu who's looking for earlier out of the focus. At least, yeah, at least he has two projectiles, you know, the Hadouken and of course the Fireball. But right now, what is Rhythm going to do with this? With this, a whole stock deficit almost. Not getting the tackle in place. Right, that's a big up air. Now, I will say right here, taking this stock as opposed to, yeah, that's nice. massive, massive. Take my, three stock to one comebacks are so hard. They're so rare. They're like literally one out of every 20 times they happen. And uh, <gasps> it's not quite that bad, but this is still grim. This is rough. And I feel like Rhythm hasn't demonstrated that game plan that's effective just yet. Yeah, Rhythm is, has not really gone into the swing of things with his character on this stage. Of course, we did see Rhythm Rin on the stage on uh, Game 2, I believe, but this is just not the Rhythm we were looking at in the Game 1. And that's because the guy's adaptability as a character, as a player, opting to actually outrange the Thunder, of course, which is a really wise option. That's what Rhythm is going for to, to enter the stage. And this is a, really a, a, a match of uh, projectiles until someone's able to enter safely. Well, I think one thing that is... Oh, man, that's you messed huge. up once, though, and... That was really good recognition from Gaius, seeing that that fireball was going to connect and sort of like approaches, closes the distance to convert off of it. Where you? Oh, okay. we're back on stage. We're on ledge. We're on safe. Oh, <gasps> I just shoot break. That might be and game. Oh, no, I you think stage. that's going to be game? Yeah. With the side kick. Oh my goodness, that was a humongous amount of pressure on Rhythm Shield, and, and Gaius and broke it. And that is the also, game we're going to end. Oh yeah, my goodness. I will say, hadn't showed it at all. We weren't seeing like, oh, let me just try and F till, you know, let me try and break the shield here. No, kept it in the back pocket, made sure that Rhythm was just too comfortable shielding, and then once he was, just popped it like a balloon. <laughs> killed so early. Oh my, look at this. Oh, this, this, these were all the, the really good punish off of, from, for Rhythm from that, uh, just that whiff attack. But here we go. This is the second stock for, yeah, for Rhythm. But here comes the the intense of what we're looking for. That shield break, pressure, pressure, and there it is onto the platform. 75% with a raw sidekick. You're dead. Absolutely yeah. gone. And the little mini pop off in the player cam as well for that shield break beauty. I love to see it. You love to see over here at Defend North, which. Oh, oh, oh. Beautiful. What are we looking at here? We're looking at. Numbers. That's that's a movie poster right there. <laughs> new new defend north up. That actually is a really good poster. Looking. Yeah, that's a, that's a good okay, movie poster. Okay, numbers. Okay. Maybe speaking of defend the north, we're gonna have to give this away to some of our other casters because that's the end of our block right now. Yeah, if you've enjoyed our commentary, uh, cool. Uh, cool. But thanks. also, you can follow me on Twitter at saltyfun underscore ssb, and don't forget. You can always follow me, Montenegro, with an extra at the end because the other one's taken. So follow me. Uh, feel free to critique a commentary. I am always up for critique. I'm Please sure do. you are as yeah, well. Yeah, no, I, so I, 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 I love feedback. I love feedback. Unironically, I love feedback. I love criticism. I'm in art school. I always get crit all the time. This is, this is easy. Give me some feedback. So either way, we're signing off real fast. Don't go anywhere. We have some more uh, Defend or Smash Ultimate coming up right now. So go take a little break. We'll be right back. Craig? Craig, you still with me? Yes. Great. What's the equation of the slope? Y equals mx plus b. Sea that borders Europe and Africa. Mediterranean. 